Brooke had been dreaming of this day since she was a little girl. As the day drew close, Brooke's fantasies of the picture-perfect day became more of a reality. As she stood in the anticamer, she took one last glance at herself and felt radiant. The day so far was exactly as she dreamed. That was until she stepped out and saw her mother-in-law for the first time that day. Suddenly, her perfect day turned into a nightmare. Bright in tears after what groom's mom does at wedding. Like many young girls, Brooke Johnson had dreamed of a perfect wedding day. From the moment she got her first dollhouse with a bride and groom doll to live in it, she had pictured the day she'd meet her own Prince Charming. She worked hard throughout high school and college and eventually began a successful career running her own catering business. Her life was great, but one thing was still missing. Brooke was a beautiful woman. As a consequence, there were always suitors after her. Although she dated a few guys after school, none of the relationships ever panned out. Since Brooke always had an idea of her perfect man, she was never going to just settle for the sake of it. She was in her mid-twenties when she began to wonder if she would ever find that special guy. Brooke had placed her search for Mr. Wright on the back burner while she continued working hard. Brooke was excited when she secured a large catering order for a corporate event. This was a huge chance to expand her business. With a large corporate client, Brooke knew other doors could be opened, so she pulled out all the stops. However, the job also came with a benefit she hadn't anticipated. The event was a two-day business seminar. Many large companies sent delegations from their marketing and strategy departments. Brooke had outdone herself. She and her small team put together a vast buffet-style lunch menu for the attendees. The people were friendly, and she received many compliments on the food. One of the businessmen stood out. From the moment Brooke laid eyes on Jensen, she liked him. He was handsome, charming, and looked very smart and professional in the suits he wore to the seminar. The pair initially started speaking after he complimented on the food. From there, they began chatting after each workshop. By the second day of the seminar, Brooke was utterly smitten. There was only one problem. As the next day wore on, Brooke caught a few fun conversations with Jensen. However, the seminar was due to end that day, and she wondered if she'd ever see him again. He seemed to enjoy speaking to her too and made a point of returning to her spot throughout the day. At the end of the seminar, Brooke was packing up and secretly sad that she wouldn't get to see Jensen after that. To her surprise, he approached her and asked for her number. After their chance encounter, Brooke and Jensen began dating steadily. She was overjoyed as he was her dream man in every way. The couple grew close over the next eight months and even moved in together. Things seemed to be going perfectly. Brooke couldn't help but rekindle her childhood fantasies. That was until she eventually met Jensen's family. Although Jensen was a humble person, he came from a wealthy family. He was also successful in his own right as the VP of a significant Manhattan-based marketing firm. When Brooke met Jensen's mother, she got a bad vibe. Evelyn Johnson was an austere woman of refined taste. Brooke, being a simple girl herself, felt uncomfortable around her. Evelyn also seemed to dislike her on sight. Despite Jensen's assurances, being an only child, it was clear that Jensen was the apple of his mum's eye. Some of his cousins had also told Brooke that she was very picky and, in her eyes, no woman was good enough for him. These worries aside, Brooke did her best to navigate the tricky relationship with Evelyn. Soon enough, all of this was out of her mind. She was happier than she'd ever been when Jensen suddenly proposed. Jensen got down on one knee and created a magical evening for Brooke. She was ecstatic as her lifelong dream was finally coming true. A date was chosen, and the exciting planning began. While Evelyn, who didn't seem too pleased about the wedding, did her best to try and control every aspect of the preparations, Brooke put her foot down. This was her big day, and nothing was going to spoil that. At least, that's what she thought. Evelyn became a lot moodier in the weeks leading up to the wedding, but Brooke was unperturbed. The day finally arrived. Everything was perfect, from the location to the weather, food, and decor. Brooke glanced outside as she sat in her anticamer, awaiting her cue to walk down the aisle. Evelyn had found a cruel way to take revenge for not being allowed to control the wedding arrangements. Brooke's eyes filled with tears when she saw that Evelyn had worn a wedding dress to the ceremony. Brooke could not believe how insensitive Evelyn had been. It was clearly a stunt designed to take the spotlight off her as the bride. Word got to Jensen that his bride was in tears. The ceremony was placed on hold while Brooke and Jensen confronted Evelyn. Evelyn was belligerent as ever. Refusing to apologize or change her dress, Evelyn accused Brooke of being after her son's money. She then did the unthinkable by grabbing a chunk of the wedding cake and mushing it all over Brooke's face in front of the guests. 
the entire fiasco had made Brooke's day a nightmare. Jensen was just as disgusted at his mom's behavior, and the wedding was called off. Brooke was devastated, more than anything, because of what she was accused of. In the following weeks, Jensen could not stand for things to stay as they were. He confronted his mother alone. For the first time, Evelyn learned that the couple had been keeping a secret from her. Months before the wedding, Jensen's company had suffered a substantial financial loss, and he had lost his job. Brooke insisted that he let her support him till he got back on his feet. Only then did Evelyn realize the kind of person Brooke was. She made a considerable effort to reconcile with Brooke and begged her forgiveness. Evelyn asked if she could throw them another wedding and promised that even though she would pay for it all, Brooke was in charge and could ensure every detail was to her liking. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.